Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a beginner topic that a lot of new players are gonna have questions about, and those are going to be why these two people here are having a boxing match. But uh, beyond that, it is going to be the fitness stats that you see on your player card when you press the P key on the keyboard of breath, strength, and health. These three stats are super important to your player's advancement, and a lot of people ignore them, or don't even know that they exist, because they always look at the Life Info tab instead. Now this is going to be the first part of an overarching video series where I go through pretty much every stat that you see on this menu here, as well as explaining the various combat stats down here to newer players in a way that is easy to understand. So I really do hope this helps newer players get into the game. Anyway, that's a lot of babbling for an intro, so let's get right on into it here and start off with the breath stat in this fitness subsection. So breath is the stat that controls your stamina. You can hover over tooltip and read it just like I can. The stat itself has a soft cap at level 30. In fact, all of these skills have a soft cap at level 30. EXP for the breath stat in particular is probably the easiest one to obtain in the game, and you're going to obtain it literally whenever you are playing. Breath EXP is obtained just for moving around in the world of Black Desert. So if you're out grinding in a location, or if you're walking from city to city, or anything like that, you're going to accrue Breath EXP. Now because the breath stat is leveled up just from playing the game and literally doing anything in it, a lot of people tend to overlook the breath stat. As a newer player, I want to make sure you are fully aware of how important the stamina that you obtain from this breath stat is. So stamina is one of the more finite resources in this game and is used for pretty much every movement ability in it. For example, here on the Maywa, we have the chase ability. And as you can see, for using this chase movement ability, I'm consuming stamina. If I run out of stamina, I can no longer use this ability. So let's just drain it down. And even though I have resource energy up here available still, if I don't have the stamina, I cannot use the ability. Beyond that, it also controls how far you can sprint based on the stamina consumption. And all in all is a super critical stat to your character. Now in addition to its impact on movement abilities, it also is the only one of the big three resources, which are health, we're just going to call this one mana for now, and stamina, that cannot be recovered using potions. So you have HP potions, you have mana recovery potions, but you do not have stamina potions, which means once you're out of it, you're out of it until it recovers. So having a higher base value for this is super important. So yeah, this breath ability is super critical and you're gonna wanna get this towards that soft cap of level 30 as quickly as you can. Next up on the list here is the strength stat and the strength stat fortunately is a lot easier to understand. So this one also has a soft cap at level 30 once again, which caps out at a weight increase of 40 LT for your character. Beyond that, you're looking at a very, very, very long time to continue leveling this skill. And the only way to level it is pretty comical. In order to level this stat further, you're going to need to find a trade manager in game, which can be done with the find NPC function, and then you can click the trade manager icon. You'll need to talk to the trade manager, click on the trade option, take one of anything, hit OK, and hit purchase all. You then need to walk around with this thing on your back. And this will give you the strength EXP. So once again, the strength EXP is tied to walking around with trade packs on your bag, and we'll also show you ways to level these after at the end of this video, so don't worry, this isn't the only way to do it, but uh, yeah, this is the primary way that you're going to see out there. So once again, soft cap at 30, soft caps at 40 LT, which of course is pretty nice if you're out grinding at a location to have that extra LT that you can carry. Now the final stat we're going to take a look at on this fitness menu is the health stat, and as one would guess, it increases your HP. It says it right in the tooltip. But the other thing that it'll increase is your resource right here. So whatever your character's resource is down here below the HP bar, will also be increased by this health stat. Now at level 30, which is the soft cap for health, you're going to receive an additional 290 HP. And depending on your class, you'll have a varying amount of these resource values obtained from it as well. Now healthy XP is obtained from eating food. So if I just go ahead and eat this simple crown meal, you'll see that I gained a little bit of healthy XP. So for this reason, people will always be recommending to just keep eating foods every four seconds while you're playing Black Desert. Not really, I think there's a 30 minute cooldown. But anyway, whenever you can eat food, to eat food to continue leveling this stat. And with that, we've covered all of these stats, how to level them generically, and what they do for your character. That does leave one more thing to cover, though, and that is the use of food buff sorts of things that provide EXP to those. So we're going to take out these three juices right here. These are Finto's juices. You've probably seen them from your Oasis boxes if you've opened those up, or from leveling up your seasoned character. These are going to provide you EXP at the various stats that we called out earlier here, so the fitness stats. So if I drink this green one, it's going to provide me strength EXP. So if I click that, you can see my strength level increased. The red one's going to provide me breath EXP. If I click it, you'll see that my breath increased. And if I click the yellow one, you'll see that it increases health EXP. So you'll get those periodically from your Oasis boxes, playing through on the season server, 
Or if you are in a guild that gives you an allowance to spend on stuff, you could also buy these juices from here for various silver amounts that you see. Now those are the three easiest accessible types of foods that do this. There are additional items in the game that do the same sort of thing. So just keep on the lookout for tooltips to see if they tell you that it gives you EXP to one of those fitness stats. And with that guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. You definitely wanna make sure you're taking advantage of these stats and leveling them at any opportunity that you have because of how much easier they make gameplay in Black Desert. If this video is gonna help you, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you have an idea for which one of these stats you wanna see covered next, also let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.